I am the Final Fantasy XIV villain. <laughs> What's that? Greetings, travelers. I am the misshapen chair. Some will even call me the chair man. Recently, <laughs> I've been having creative blocks. I feel as if I have been missing that spice to really make my videos much more heated and tingly for the viewer experience. Spicy. I was trying to understand what it was I was lacking. Was I slowly becoming shapen despite my utmost efforts? On my journey of self-discovery, I had to ask myself the ultimate question. What inspired me to make Final Fantasy XIV videos in the first place? And in my delirium, a video popped up on my feed. One that came to me in my time of desperation. Ah, you were at my side all along. My true mentor. Whew. Awful Final Fantasy XIV videos. Because you know what's better than a bad video? A mediocre one. I wanted what's better than a bad video a mediocre one I mean of course like <laughs> holy shit yeah, the way he starts it like it sounds a bit frustrated right like to make videos that were more only to join the ranks of bland ice cold and generic takes that don't get oh the yeah ice going. cold dark night I takes. became exactly what I thought I was here to destroy and in my revelation I also pondered a second question who am I what is my role in this highly niche space of content creation? I wanted to make videos that I like to watch, ones that would fill me Nico with rampant Pada. anxiety after posting them, figuring that the Wait a second, I think I've seen this before. What is this Nico Para? Is that not a game or something? I think... Uh, what is Nico Para? You know, you know what? Let me look this one up. What is Nico Para? Nico Para. Ah, uh, here. Neko Para is a series of adult visual novels. Oh, okay. So, uh, it's adult novels. All right. Oh, great. Okay, now, now I know what uh, he wants to make videos about. <laughs> then why you didn't do it, Misshapen Chair? Is it because of, like, uh, the restrictions on YouTube? <laughs> Maybe there's another page for that. <laughs> like to watch ones that would fill me with oh, rampant well. anxiety after posting them, figuring that the backlash would overtake my weak willpower. And that's when the second epiphany hit me. I'm the Joker, baby! <laughs> Why what? even care? What There's that? already a large portion of people who don't like my existence, and I'm not going anywhere other than straight to hell where I belong. I must become the villain again. The world isn't ready to handle me at my worst, so to compensate, I'm going to become even worse than that. Oh. I said the game was easy, and now it's getting even easier. Why is everyone such a fucking wuss? I thought Dancer was as easy as it would ever get. And they decided to make Dancer even easier. Oh boo hoo, I have to put some work. You know, it's interesting. I think they made like uh, multiple classes, like jobs easier. I mean, just look at freaking Summoner. Like Summoner is now way easier than it used to be, right? Like the way they reworked it. So it's not just the Dancer. It's also like the Summoner and some others. And yeah, recently I'm playing some and I'm having a blast though. though like even though it's simple, I still think it's really fun. I love the new animations and stuff. Like the attacks on some look really cool. And by the way, guys, if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more MMO content. And yeah, like making something easier isn't always a bad thing. It just depends on how easy they make it. If they make it too easy, it gets boring, right? Working to make the job function. Gonna go cry to Papa Yoshi P. Try not to shit I yourself on the way there. I wish I had Black Mage leveled up. I think it's more sad that these people are indulged and rewarded for their incompetence. You know, if you put the same amount of time and effort that you put into bitching on forums into the actual game itself, you might even start to get to the mediocre level and experience some amount of happiness for overcoming challenges that were put in your way. You know what? I am annoyed at the direction they want to take this game. You know why? Because the game doesn't require you to have anything resembling a cohesive rotation for any content Holy that shit. isn't savage or ultimate. So why does it even fucking matter that some rotations require some effort to pull off? 
Every job was cyclic before, but now it's really just everyone lining everything up every two minutes. There's nothing interesting to go around. Speed Kill Group started taking Ninja again and realized the benefits of having a one minute raid buff, and now it's all gone because some aerosol sucker drifted their trick attack and misaligned it at the two minute mark. God forbid you put some practice into the only thing your job is known for. Remember when Yoshi P's Wow, I didn't actually know that like so many people are like upset about uh, the job changes that happen with uh, the latest uh, expansion and all that. Like, holy shit. Like, I didn't expect that like Endwalker would cause people to feel this way. Like, sure, some skills got like reworked, certain cooldowns got like changed and stuff. And yeah, so some stuff I was also like wondering, like, why did they actually change it? I feel like the old version was like, okay, why, why it needed a rework, right? Like, there are some skills that also confused me that they reworked, but... Yeah, that to see that actually like a couple of people and quite many actually are like upset about the changes and don't seem to like them. That's interesting. Said that Ley Lines was still going to be on a 90 second cooldown. You think that this is going to get the average face roller or glue sniffer to all of a sudden <laughs> start succeeding in hard content? If you don't have the motivation to learn how to play a job, you aren't going to have the motivation to learn the mechanics in a fight. Here's what that's, I think. That's true. I think it's okay that not every player likes every job. I think it's a yeah. good thing that some jobs are harder. Simply because it's designed to appeal to those types. You know what? I have a friend that's just like he describes. Like uh, not everyone likes every uh, job or, or class, right? Like I have one friend that plays purely melee. He never wants to touch any caster or ranger uh, job. Like, I have one friend always wants to be Millie, 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 Millie for the rest of the life or something. Like, no matter what MMO game this guy plays, he always wants to be Millie. Like, if there's, like, something that has, like, a big sword, a big uh, axe or something, yeah, I would play that. But if there's anything that has, like, a freaking bow or, like, magic, no, I'm not gonna touch that. Like, I have a friend like that. Every single MMO he plays, always Millie. <laughs> so, players... If you want to play Black Mage and you can't handle the lack of mobility, I want Yoshi P to look them in the eye and say, Get Ooh. good, scrub. Hire fucking Yoshi Hidetaka P. Miyazaki Uchiha. to tell them on your behalf. Hell, you can even hire me. I can be the fall oh, guy, yeah? the one that's forcing people to learn so I can milk some YouTube views with my guides. What's wow. that? There's some sickos that like the pets being a piece of shit? Great. Let them have their fun. I'm not entitled to play that shit because I have other jobs that I can play instead. Can't wow. handle having I mean, two true. different filler weaves on Samurai. Can't handle the fucking cast times. Play a different fucking job. Oh, what's this? I signed up to be a janitor and you want me to go plunge a toilet? It's literally in the job description. <laughs> go <laughs> waste someone heck? else's time. He's like renting I'm a more bonus. annoyed since I make guides to teach people how to play at a basic level. And you want to know why I call them all mediocre? Why? Because I want people to realize how hard it isn't. This shit is not complicated to learn. Stop making it any easier. It's starting to slowly kill the veteran players, because right now, if the content itself isn't challenging for you, the job is not going to make up the difference. It's better to take a break and unlearn a bunch of shit so that you have something to feel again when you come back to the game. Like, I actively want to- Okay, I have a question for some of you, those that uh, play a summoner. Like, I, I want your honest, honest opinion, okay? Do you guys feel like after now touching Summoner and you have played it before, do you get like this kind of new exciting feeling? How do you feel overall about like the Summoner, for example? Do you enjoy it now? Do you feel like it's better? Is it worse and does it feel new to you? Let me know in the comment section, please. Get worse just to have fun again. If I have buffs to manage on Samurai, at least I have something to do in a piece of content where nothing is happening. Now I just press any old combo with fuck all intent and it's all meaningless. You wow. want to know why it's fine for some stuff to require effort? Because why? pulling something off in content that's challenging or frustrating makes your success that much more satisfying. Learn to live a little, people. That's true if you Stop overcome obstacles. So it's always a great to feeling. let players fail. You have to suck at first to start getting better at something. Oh. But if you have that spark. Did you guys see that that wipe? Holy shit, they're all standing there trying to avoid the mechanic and stuff. And some are not like reacting on time. Look you have this. to suck at first to start getting better at something. Ah. But if you have that spark, 
that drive. If a few Almost seconds anyone earlier, right? can eventually succeed. You think I was good at this but many game sprouts. at first? I struggled against fucking four-man Titan when I started playing, and that shit ain't even hard at all. And now I'm playing every job in the game at the top of the bell curve. Imagine growing as a player. No one is entitled to a clear of any high-end duty. Some of you really need to understand that instead of falling over and throwing a tantrum when you hit a wall, you learn what you need to do to is make gonna it work. race them all? Jobs require you to weave a bunch of bullshit? Fucking do it. Don't like it? Play a job that doesn't require you to do it. Do what must be done. Why do you know what my suggestion is to like, especially like new players or those that are coming back to the game? And this is something that's beautiful about Final Fantasy XIV and like other MMOs, they don't have that unfortunately. Like in WoW, you're gonna spend quite a lot of time uh, leveling up new characters and stuff. But um, the cool thing about Final Fantasy XIV is you can have every single job class uh, on, on one single character, right? So before you like pick a main or something, you could literally play on your character the same one every single freaking job and see which one you like uh, the most. For me, for example, I'm having like a blast on Ninja. I think Ninja is pretty fun. I really like Summoner and I had a good time on Machinist too, for example. And the only way I found out that I really liked those three jobs, for example, or Astrologian on the healer side was because I ended up picking up multiple jobs and see which ones I enjoy the most, right? So yeah, that's, that's how you like figure out stuff as a new player. Just play everything and take your time, figure out what you think looks more cool, which rotation is more fun, which animations look better for you, which positioning is your favorite one. Do you want to be at the mob and you want to play in melee or do you want to stay somewhere behind and safe, like maybe on like a black mage or so and, and just freaking cast around and stuff. Like figure this out for yourself while playing and you have all the time in the world. Like you don't need to make a new character. You can just casually change around your, your job. You can play multiple ones. Like that's the good thing about Final Fantasy XIV. Like there's less dedication on the grind for uh, a class because you have everything on, on one, right? And WoW, for example, if you want to play Demon Hunter, you need to do some freaking time walking and just spend maybe dungeons. Then you want to try Death Knight and you do this and that. Like It's more time, I feel like, than in Final Fantasy XIV to try out uh, classes. Why do I care so goddamn much about a button that I press before another one? Why does Reaper get to weave bloodstock? Why do we have combo actions? Why do we have buttons on timers? Why does Bard have procs? Why did she leave me? You <laughs> really did she want leave me? <laughs> every job in the game to be the exact same thing with a different little flavor on top of it. What a fucking joke. I'm not oh, even yeah? hardcore. I'm like the most casual player of hardcore content. Really? I don't want them to make it easier for me. I want to struggle. I want the content to beat me down and fuck me up. I want wow. it to call me stupid. Let me wallow in the filth and muck of suckage. You should drop a combo once in a while. You should miss some positionals. You should drop a cast bar. Learn to live a little, people. <laughs> I don't want Cackbot to tell me what to do. I want to fuck it up until I don't. Stop pandering to the lowest of the low in this game because it doesn't matter how fucking easy you make it. People who don't want to put the work in are never going to, no matter how low you set that bar. Let them fester in normal dungeons with their 25% GCD uptime. Don't baby <laughs> them in some hard shit. What you want is a nice, healthy middle ground. You yeah. want people to know what they need to do to make a job work, but put some effort into utilizing. Didn't I say that in the last uh, Final Fantasy XIV related video that I did that uh, like with class design, right? Yeah, I remember now. This was by Lucy Pyre with class design. I mentioned that if, if you are like a developer and you're making a class for an MMO, try to find a balance between simple simple and between like really complex right like make like this is the most fun also for me to play something that's a little complex but not too overwhelmingly complex right like let's say your rotation is six different skills I think that's totally fine to have a rotation where you use like six skills. I think that's a healthy number. But if you have a rotation that's just two, three skills, it is too simple. And if you have like nine or ten skills you need to line up in order to do like a full burst, I think it's too complex. Find something that's like in the middle. You have like five or six skills that you rotate around seven maximum. And 
there are like maybe some cooldowns you have to manage but you you have some time to realize okay now i must press this or something like yeah make something not too long like not too long cooldowns because it also sucks if you have like a class where every four minutes you use like one skill like if it's that long you're probably gonna forget it eventually right but like make something that's pretty balanced you don't have too long cooldowns not too short cooldowns not too many cooldowns but a few cooldowns uh five six damage skills you rotate around and then you have like the perfect class basically right yeah that's how it is why is it I hate optimizing, but you know what? It is cool to watch people push this game to the fucking limit. Give them room to do that. It's never going to affect the average player. It doesn't even affect the average RPer, or the average ERPer, or the <laughs> average Plebeian, or even the average Dark Souls fan. Oh, wow. Speaking of learning Dark jobs, Souls. I make guides. I've said this before. Make good These guides. guides are here to help players realize that the game is not the hardest thing to pick up on the planet. Sometimes these guides might contain a slightly incorrect piece of information. This is true, and I will do it again, fucker. I spend time and effort combing over every little pubic hair that goes into my guides, looking wow. at written resources, video presentations, rotation demonstrations, hitting a dummy for That's an a good hour preparation. to build up a sense of muscle memory, acquiring gear, and spreadsheet optimizations, as well as delegate my madness out to my ghostwriter, who I never thank enough for her tireless work. Thank you, oh, you have Ellie. a ghostwriter. Only for the final product to contain a slightly misworded piece of information that could potentially be interpreted as wrong. Oh, what's that? Is that a genuine human mistake? Why do I even bother? The problem with the video format is that changes cannot be edited on the side or reworded over and over again until the final product is more or less perfect. Boy, 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 Think boy. you can do a better job than me? Go ahead, you probably can. But I fucking dare you to make a text guide and never re-edit it a single time and see how that goes for you. My guides were never designed to make... No, the thing is also, um, if there's like a new patch and they change something uh, again, like if you look now at a, <laughs> that's a bit, maybe a, a, a weird example. If you look now at a freaking summoner guide that uh, was written in let's say 2019 or 2020, and now we have freaking Endwalker, like the whole class has been reworked, or some of those changes that have been done to like other classes like Machinist, Ninja, and all that. Like sure, like if you look like what happened three years ago, what was written there or four years ago, it's not gonna be accurate anymore. <laughs> Holy shit, yeah. Guides need to be updated every patch, I, I, I would even say. Because like with new patches come sometimes new gear, right? New new mechanics, new bosses, maybe some skills get reworked. Like even if one skill gets reduced, like let's say you have a skill that has one minute cooldown and suddenly it's like 40 or seconds cooldown or something. Like that, that, that already can change a lot on a guide, right? Like maybe your rotation is like completely different. Maybe you line up everything after one minute and now, oh shit, there's one skill that's already ready after 40 seconds. What should I do now? And I have to rework everything again, like the whole guide make you anything other than have a sense of basic competency making sure that you don't leave any shit behind after wiping your ass it's <laughs> not too bad considering it was originally just an avenue to make stupid jokes i simply try to be perfect and fail in a similar vein why don't i make a video on x topic I could talk about the next patch cycle every single time and cry in a corner when it inevitably gets pushed back once in a while. It would probably get me more viewership, but I'm not here to get raw views. I don't use views or money as my motivator because in creative careers, it's shown to make the content worse. I guess if I'm truly evil, maybe I should start my video making process as, hmm, what's going to get me the most views today? I started doing this for fun, and I want it to be fun for me. If making a patch recap video seems like something I can enjoy doing, then I will. If yeah. they make changes that legitimately get under my skin, you're probably going to hear about it. Although I most likely won't though, because that's not why the people are here now. There are about a thousand videos from a thousand creators that you can watch to learn about another juicy item to sexify your female character that has been released on the fucking cash shop. 
No. Oh, no. I am the one who made a ha ha funny video, and that is the only the social thing hierarchy. I will ever be known. Oh, yeah, I remember checking out this video. This was like one of the most fun videos I reacted to the social hierarchy <laughs> with where the RP players are, where like the, the, sp the sprouts are, where like the freaking mentors are. Oh. Yeah, this one was so fun to check out. It's also on my channel if you guys want to check it out, like my reaction to that. Known for nothing else. As I rose up the ranks of the highly competitive and totally relevant subscriber number comparison charts, it's nice to see how people interact with me, or perhaps the better way to Congrats. phrase it is the way it's they like do. I am an enigma, an ephemeral existence that people will loosely draw a comparison to as they hide under their covers and pray for the break of dawn. One whose name cannot be spoken out loud three times in a row while looking at a mirror with the lights out, or else I might show up behind you and provide a mediocre jump scare. I, I could never drink something like this. Imagine drinking something that has like freaking fish and tomatoes and stuff in it. I can't look at this. I don't Mediocre want to drink fish uh, cocktail. I obviously don't type in Final Fantasy XIV yeah. chat hardly ever, if at all, but that's not what Nearly I'm puked. talking about. Looking at my most viewed video through the YouTube search engine sure shows a lot of people making a video about watching that video. That's <laughs> very interesting. Wait, are and we there too? Are we there too? Because I think we got also a couple of thousands of views. You should also be ranked pretty high there. Okay, he only shows like three, four of those. Okay, never mind. But I'm pretty sure like <laughs> somewhere there we are as well. Sure shows a lot of people making oh, a yeah. video about watching that video. That's very interesting and a good use of your creative energy. Although I can't help but feel a solid chunk of salt that one particular variety of reaction video will continuously get triple or six times the view count of the then, source material. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even like putting ads and... You know what? And that's actually... Like, that is so true. You know what actually, like, is funny? Like, there are sometimes reaction videos... That get like literally double or triple the amount of views. Like it's insane. Wait, I think who was this? Like I also reacted to someone and I got like almost as many like the same amount of views as the original video. I think this was like some Minecraft animation or something. Like, I, I checked out someone and I got like nearly the same amount of, of numbers. And this is like a super huge channel and it's like four or five times the, the, the subs that than we have. Like and that's crazy. But yeah, Asmon Gold. Like Asmon Gold, he can he can bring up everything. Like like the thing is like Asmon Gold is like from from all creators the biggest carry in the in the whole uh, creator scene. Like like Asmon Gold can carry a channel that has like a hundred subs with like just one reaction to even ten thousand subs or something. Like there was this this one uh, person that made like uh, Lost Ark videos and was like criticizing like Lost Ark and the West is gonna die and stuff, right? And what happened? Asmund got reacted to him and now he suddenly gets constantly thousands of views on every single video. He get like 10k plus subs or something. Like it's insane. Like Asmund got, if he reacts to any of your videos, you are a big winner. Like you're gonna get tons of new subs. I'm like wondering how much he actually, by doing this, like uh, increased the, the sub count on Misshapen Chair. It's as easy like 5 or 10k subs, I believe get triple or six times the view count of the source Holy material. Shit. I don't even like putting ads and mid-rolls in my videos, but hey, I have rent to pay too. I don't believe that Mr. Dr. Professor Asmongold is malicious, and his initial shout-out to me helped me grow into the big and strong yeah. lord of cat girls that you all know lot of and girls. despise today. At I don't despise point, you, though, I respect you. I no you. longer notice a bump in my metrics whenever I get mentioned anywhere. I am just too popular and just too good. However, despite what I just said, allow me to give everyone formal permission and pre-approval to watch my videos and re-upload them with your shitty face cam and yeah! red arrow thumbnails. That's what and we do here, money off partially. Of you don't have to ask me for permission. It's not like you were going to ask in the first place, <laughs> you leeches. It's very hard Whoa. to message me in any Is that how he feels about reactions? Like Twitter, or send a business email to my name at gmail.com, or in the depths of the abyss on discord but you know what there are literally some like true leeches uh, online like I, I've, I've seen people and they either 
put together like multiple videos of creators into one bigger video and they call it like a mashup or something blah 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 and they upload it and they get like thousands of views i think this is like real itching or if like people do a reaction to a video that's like let's say five minutes long but the reaction video is just one or two minutes longer than the original video like a reaction should at least be a third maybe even like half or even like double yeah, like better even like double the, the length of the original one because if you make a reaction video with barely any feedback, that's true leeching. Word. Of which, after making this video, I expect to be flooded with nothing but disdain. Although, even if you asked, I probably wouldn't say no, anyways. Acknowledging reaction content in this way is a faux pas. I need more reactions too to my channel. The best. I am not a businessman, or even a good one at that, despite being evil. Could I reach out to someone like Asmongold and ask to make some content together? I could. He might even agree to it. I, I Although think... I have never watched... You know what? I actually think uh, Asmongold would, uh, with Misshapen, uh, make a video together. Like, I think they would, like, if they played together, I think they would really, really get uh, along well. Like, seriously. Watched any of his content regularly. That's not because I dislike the man or anything, I simply just don't actively watch it. The creator I have collaborated with the most is someone that I watched of Lucy my own Paya. free oh, will. I love her. And thought that we would have a similar set of ideas to work with. We are so similar that most are convinced we are the same person. Yeah, I see you typing the joke right now, fucker. It's old. Ah, uh, the true adage of the YouTube dogma. Stale jokes which I either perpetuate and accept, or be doomed to be tortured with out of spite. When I do reach out to collaborate, it's usually because I think we might have some common ground. If I did reach out to Asmongold in this exact moment, it would be purely because I want views. A pretty scumfuck <laughs> move on my part that most viewers would probably ultimately understand. I simply don't want to do that. Although to clarify my talking point, I am not trying to personally attack Asmongold or what he does. He's merely another cog in the reaction content livestream machine. Another One that I have cog. personally seen the positives and negatives from. I did watch. Wait, his wait, 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 wait. Let's let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. What is this like? I need to see this this kind of thingy. Okay, yeah, yeah, this was like, I think this was like Final Fantasy XIV, right? Like when Asmongold was like actively streaming it, it was like crazy high and then he stopped and then suddenly people leave. Like, this is something that confused me so much. Like why, even though he made this game like super famous by like uh, streaming it, right? Like why did so many leave? Why didn't that many stay? It's kind of like they follow him everywhere he goes or something. Like, such, I feel like a, a big part of Esmond Gold's community is really like that. Like they follow him wherever he goes. If he plays this game actively, they play it actively. If he stops playing it actively, then they stop playing it actively or something. Like it's so strange, but I've, I've like watched this now a couple of time happen and it's, it's weird. Like I still don't understand really the reason behind that. But maybe in future we'll figure this out positives and negatives from. I did watch his video, watching my video, about Final Fantasy XIV versus other MMO, and I think he had oh, a to ton to of great commentary still. on the subject, and I don't mean that sarcastically. I just wish my entire video wasn't in that video. Because after watching that, why would any viewer go and watch the source material afterwards? Um, That's right, because they aren't going to in the first place. They don't give a shit about me, they're only there to see you. So what's the big deal? Not necessarily. Why am I making this video? Mm, you have to look at it like this way. This is why I wish like more people would actually react to my videos. I have like, I had people react to some of my content before, like some smaller creators, but it's actually good if people do react to your videos because like the, the way the algorithm works on YouTube is, let's say you put out a video, you get like uh, so and so many impressions on search findings, on browse features. If someone reacts, uh, to your video they're like they are also creating some sort of second kind of uh, algorithm for your video because now they create their own algorithm with that video and there's like even if it's just five percent of the people but let's say five percent of the people click on that link like of the original source then you get five percent of more people than you would have uh, gotten right 
because now you you have another source it's the same if people let's say upload their channel on tiktok instagram and say hey i have a youtube channel check out uh, here this link then from instagram or tiktok you can also get people on your channel that you would not have gotten if you wouldn't have made this on instagram or tiktok so i think reactions is good because you create more references to your channel like that's why i'm completely fine with people reacting to my stuff because I can, and I didn't get this far by playing it safe. I want the punishment to flow in from my comment sections to once again fuel my spite. Talk about me behind your back in yeah. hushed whispers, because I am purely exactly. misshapen. Or did I just use the mentor crown turning me evil as a little bit so I could express some of my negative emotions? I think I'm going to have to start trying a little harder. Will this get me blacklisted from every content creator on the platform? I can only hope so. Now let's get out there and be afraid. Yo, this was an interesting video and... <laughs> like, I didn't know that like so many people are actually disliking the, the class changes. Like, so far I don't have any negative feelings about like the way like the jobs have been changed in Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker. But I do see like why some people are upset and if you were like a let's say summoner main and you really loved your rotation and now you have like this whole rework like I see why you wouldn't like it or like how some cooldowns have been like reworked and maybe you spend like a lot of time on making guides and stuff then you have to do this again and again but hey like I really love checking out misshapen chairs videos same with like Lucy Pie. I think they make some really really funny and entertaining videos and I definitely have to check this one out with like the freaking uh, MMO comparison and stuff. Like I wish I could do like more Final Fantasy 14 videos and I'm like, very happy to see that there are creators like Misshapen Chair and Lucy Pyre that do make Final Fantasy 14 videos. Because I feel like making Final Fantasy 14 videos can be a big challenge because there's like a lot of like anti-spoiler people. I mean, there are like a lot of spoilers that you create when you make videos to Final Fantasy 14 because it's so heavily story driven as well, right? So it's really tough to sometimes make content without making spoiler content. So it's cool to see that there are people like Misshapen Chair and Lucy Pyre that find ways to make videos that don't have too many spoilers and are entertaining to watch because I feel like it's way more of a challenge to make FF14 videos than for example to New World or WoW because there you can literally record and make everything like a video too, right? Because there's not like this kind of spoiler community where like, oh no spoilers, uh, please don't spoil it. So yeah. It was definitely fun to check out. Let me also like this video. Big thumbs up because this is really entertaining. And it's cool to see like the feedback of other players. How they feel about the latest expansion. And I don't think that he's like a villain or something. He's just very direct and honest about the way he feels about things. Like the way he feels about the game. The way he feels about people reacting to his content and stuff. He's just an honest player. And there's nothing wrong about being honest and direct. You're not evil because of it. And yeah, if you guys are new to this channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content. I would also really appreciate if you could give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time.